Ramstein Air Force Base, Germany. It's one of the most exciting air shows in all of Europe. A squadron of 10 Italian military jets dazzles the crowd of 300,000 people. Preparing for the final routine of the day, the planes break off into two separate formations, with one jet flying solo. The pilots are attempting a maneuver called the piercing heart. The stunt calls for the planes to rocket toward each other at 350 miles per hour and crisscross only a few feet apart. But suddenly, disaster strikes. Three of the planes collide in midair. Oh, Take another look at this horrifying moment. The plane that had been flying on its own clips another. And then slams into a third jet. All three aircraft crash into the ground. One of them streaks toward a crowd of spectators and explodes. Firefighters race to put out the blaze that is raging on the tarmac. Innocent spectators are trapped in the inferno. Witnesses describe the scene as a war zone. There's a guy running towards us on fire. One guy told him to lay down and start patting out his back, and then he went down, and I grabbed a pair of blue jeans that were just laying on the ground, and I put out the flames in his head. Another spectator, Jeff McCanch, was standing dangerously close to where the plane crashed down. The impact of the planes felt just like a bomb had gone off uh, right next to us and it was blowing us backwards. Uh, it picked us up and threw us back approximately 30 feet backwards. When Jeff staggers to his feet, he realizes that his two-year-old son, JJ, is missing. I realized in an instant that my son was still back there and I didn't know exactly where he was. Suddenly, Jeff spots JJ surrounded by a wall of flames and runs into the fire to save him. As I ran in to, to pick him up, there was flames there, but I couldn't tell you if they were hot or not. All I did is just, I reached down and grabbed my son and, and we beat feet out of there. Thankfully, Jeff manages to pull his son from the inferno. Even now, he is amazed that he was able to find the boy in the midst of the fiery chaos. To this day, I still have no idea how I located my son. It was like somebody upstairs was telling me uh, exactly where he was and guided me straight to him. Jeff says that he and JJ seldom talk about the disaster. In spite of the tragic loss of life on this day, one father managed to save his son. Being able to save his life that day, I know exactly what it means uh, to have a son and, and to be his father.